Welcome back to Crafting a Story with Miss Nikki and me, Benny. This week we're going to talk about twins because December 18th is National Twin Day. Now twins are two kids that are born with the same mommy and the same daddy on the same day. It's so exciting. Sometimes they can look exactly alike and those are called identical twins. And sometimes they just look like a regular sister and brother or sister and sister or brother and brother and those are called fraternal twins and there's a third kind of twin called a symmetrical twin where they look like they're looking in the mirror at each other it's really exciting so what we're going to do today is read a story called Jojo and the Twins by Jane O'Connor Jojo is Fancy Nancy's little sister and then we're going to do a craft called symmetrically painted twins where we use paint, it's so much fun. So let's go ahead and hear the story. Jojo and the Twins by Jane O'Connor. Pictures by Robin Price Glasser. Hi, I'm Jojo and I'm Nancy's little sister. But now I am a big sister too. See how little my brothers are? Robbie and Teddy are twins. My twins look just the same. Robbie and Teddy cry the same. They burp the same. They even sleep the same. It's easy to mix them up. Is that Robbie, I ask? No, it's Teddy, Daddy says. Teddy has a pink dot on his fanny. Robbie does not. We need a better way to tell the twins apart, Mommy says. So I think hard. I know. I run and get my markers. The twins are asleep. I climb on a chair by the crib. Mommy runs in. Jojo, what are you doing? I will put an R on Robbie's head and a T on Teddy's head. Then we won't mix them up. No, Jojo, Mommy says. We need another way. So I think harder. Maybe stickers. Maybe stamps. Maybe headbands. What do Mommy and Daddy say? No, no, and no. But you're a good big sister. You love the twins. Yes, I am a good big sister. I sing for the twins. I dance for the twins. I make funny faces for them. But Robbie and Teddy just stare back at me. Then one day I make lots of silly noises and the twins smile. Their first smiles ever. Look, look, I made the twins smile, I shout. Their smiles are not the same. Now we can tell the twins apart. It is simple. Robbie has a dimple, Teddy does not. I am a good big sister and a smart one too. The end. Okay, we're going to do our symmetrical painting here. Um, I have this template on cardstock. It's just two of the same cutout. Um, I got these again online. I just um, put them right on Word and that's it. And the only other things you'll need is paint. I went ahead and put it on the tray. I'm just going to go with our um, primary colors. And then I have three paint brushes, one for each color. Um, you can use paint brushes, you can finger paint, you can use cotton, but whatever you want. Um, but this one actually only works with paint. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make these look the same. And we're gonna do that by painting only on one half. Um, and to do that, I have this line. Um, these are exactly the same. If you put them together, they will match up perfectly, which means that they are symmetrical. Um, 
And this line here is called the line of symmetry. And that's where if you fold it in half, you have two perfect copies of one another. So the best way to do this I found is to fold it in half both ways. Um, so first we're gonna fold it in half backwards just because then you can see the line better. And I'm folding and you can see it's right along the line. Might not be perfect, but um, for our purposes it'll look. And then you wanna fold it this way because when it's done, you have to fold it this way to do it. Um, but then I'm just gonna fold it backwards one more time so that I don't accidentally paste the, the other side. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our half of a twin, <laughs> half of a twin set, I should say, it's one whole twin, um, and we're just gonna paint it. And um, you wanna make sure you get it nice and a little bit thick so that you can um, transfer it. Uh, I'm just gonna paint it. You can try to paint it like, um, so it looks like, something. I'm just going to do it kind of abstractly. Um, I'm just going to put colors on it and we'll see what happens. You can see already I have a little bit of orange coming out. Um, a little bit of green down there. Let's see if we get purple when we put this together. But I'm just kind of doing it abstractly. Um, what you can do also is if you have scissors, you can cut them out once they're dry. Um, I would definitely wait till they're dry. Um, see, I can't even do, I have to have symmetry. <laughs> Not exactly symmetrical, but you know, I like to have the, one, if one hand's yellow, I want the other hand to be yellow because I'm silly like that. Look, I get some pretty purple in there, look. Let's try a little bit more green maybe. And done really. There you go. So I'm gonna just kind of now. If you get all three colors mixed together, you'll start to get a brown. Um, browns when you get. All three primary colors together. Okay, so that's all covered and full, and that's what mine looks like. Um, and then what you're gonna do before it dries, make sure you do this while it's still wet. You're gonna open this up again, and then we're gonna fold this down very carefully. And once it's there, we're gonna rub it. Just rub it nice. You can see some of the paint squishing out the side. I always use too much, don't I? Oh, don't worry if it gets on the back. Um, if you cut them out, it's not a big deal. You could even make them into puppets if you put them on like straws or popsicle sticks, craft sticks, whatever. Pencils would work. Okay, so can't let it dry like this because see how it's stuck? So we're gonna very carefully open it up. And look, ah! Now, because I didn't put paint on thick enough, it's not exact, but you can see where it is um, very close. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll cut them out. Um, but if you really wanna see it symmetrical, you would just take one and show it in the mirror. Um, but I kinda like the way the other one turned out. Now, this is a good um, method of painting if you wanna paint butterflies too. A lot of people just like kinda like put lobs in the middle and then shut it and then spread it out and it looks really cute so um, my suggestion is for you guys to kind of experiment with um, uh, maybe make this a little bit thicker and see what happens experimentation is always a good thing in my opinion See what happens here. A few extra globbies. A lot of red down here. Some blue. I kind of like it the way it is, kind of like open. Need more red in the feet. And again, we're going to get some squishes. Okay, so 
Just rub it along. Hopefully it'll go. And open it up. That's a little better. Look. I need a little more blue down here. Just kind of, kind of experiment. And remember, see, I was messing up. I was trying to get this. You want to put it on the outside because it's on the outside. If it's symmetrical, then it'll be on the same part. This might do it. And rub and rub. Oop. <laughs> I have a really colorful back of this thing. Okay. There we go. That looks a lot closer now. Not perfect, but it's still pretty darn symmetrical. So, okay, so you can see my symmetrical twins are all dry. Um, it worked out pretty well. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go ahead and cut them out just because me personally, I just don't like it overlapping when I have a drawing, but you can do whatever you'd like. I am gonna cut these out. Well, I hope you had lots of fun learning about twins today, and I hope you come back for our next Crafting a Story with Miss Nikki and me, Benny. Bye-bye.